Hey, it's Mr. Ballion here. One more time, we're going to work on the cubes. This time, a really introductory level. Uh, we're building on the previous uh, lectures that I've given and recorded. Again, a simple textures on surfaces, okay? I'm just going to make a new document at this point and start. All right, I'm going to start off with the ground. Simply right off the bat, have to frame it. Come to the side here, polyplane. Maybe I'll make this uh, 50 by 50. No, no segments here. Okay, we're good to go at this point. This is my ground. I'm going to press on cube, F that, frame that, and usually this is usually one by one. I'm going to change this to five by five. Okay, I'm going to go up on the Y 2.5 to get on the ground level, and here we are. Okay, um, we've again in the past tutorials I've gone through and I've ex uh, extracted these faces, which is really cool. Okay, it makes sense, but there are many many methods to get to the end result. And again, uh, this tutorial won't cover sewing, uh, sewing edges and stuff like that. So at this point, uh, again, I'll, I'll always start off with a sign new material, Lambert, because I don't like the reflections, uh, polycube, p-cube, all this information is there. Name it, uh, name it, create 01, whatever you like, and give it a color if you like. You can do that. But we're going to bypass all that and go right to file. Okay? This situation, I'm going to my desktop and my texture tutorials. Somebody get the door for me, please. Just um, possibly halfway. That'd be great. Thanks. Okay, so this is the ideal. Um, if you really know what you're working on, you actually download your own textures, okay? So in this situation, and we'll press 6 over here, and it's on. Notice that it is not perfect. It's all over the place. We lucked out on this one. Okay, no worries. So we select it once. This time I want you to use this assign uh, automatic projection here, which is really cool. Okay, so what it's going to do, it's going to go from all six sides right there. And into the square is an awesome setting. Fewer pieces is good. You can stack it or, um, you know, and then you can go uniform. That's awesome. This is kind of cool. You can uh, tile it into square. Check how this works. Same thing, edit UV, UV texture editor. And here it is. I'm just going to dim the lights, as they say. So here we have it, six pieces. So all I'm going to do right now is going to right-click, face, and W. Slide this one over. Okay, bring this one again, face, W. And bring this one over to this area. Okay, so I'm just going to actually pay attention as to where this is. So this one underneath doesn't really count, but let's just move it anyway. Pop it in here. Right-click, face, and where is that one? Oops, not you. You. Right there. So you can see it's over here. All right? That's pretty cool. And this one slides down over. And we knew that our texture was actually squared. Right now here, um, what you can do is go right-click, for example, vertex. And, ooh, okay. So here's what's interesting. Okay. So this is where I like for you guys to just detach everything okay so you can go to face for example you can do it this way too in the past we've gone to mesh extract which is kind of nice okay there is another method you can come down many other methods polygon and let me just go to um, split UVs so now no other no other vertex is selected so this one if I come oops <laughs> uh, let's just come over here and select them all and go to object mode boom Okay, so for example, if I'm on this one, vertex here, notice that there'll be other vertices connected to it, right? So that's okay. So you go to face, locate it, and you can see that it's right there. So you can either go over here, edit mesh, extract. Where is it? Oh, mesh, sorry, mesh, extract right there. Done. Okay, or let's come over here. This method now, we'll spin around and find a face. It's right here. And I'm going to come over there, polygon, and I'm going to split UVs, okay? So there's no other uh, verts being selected. So that's kind of cool. So it's your way, uh, it's your choice how you do this. Vertex really fast. And why is this still being affected? No idea. I think this is okay for me. Uh, I'll leave it at that. They're all perfectly aligned at this point. Okay, good enough. Let's make a second cube, okay? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to close this off. And select all this. Object mode and W. Okay, now watch the ones that are not. Uh, come on in. Just talk to someone else, please. Thank you. Just come on in. It's the game club, right? Give me a sec.
All right, cool. Um, so this part is okay. I'm going to make a new cube for you guys, and um, there's some new stuff in here that I haven't figured out why in Maya. For example, when we were doing this yesterday in 2014, I was able to come in here and uh, I was in here, for example, I would select all the faces, for example, here, and come in here and extrude. And what I would do is just click on the blue square and then maybe blue square then the in and nothing's happening here so I'm not sure why this is happening in this version so we're going to have to do it old-fashioned way and uh, select a face for example come to extrude um, not extrude I want to do um, an offset maybe 0.2 see that so maybe I'll t type in 0.3 for you guys okay make it thicker maybe let's go to 0.5 uh, point sink that's good okay so that's awesome and come on this one now G and come over here type in 0.5 okay and then I'm gonna spin around come in here and G again repeat the last command offset 0.5 okay and here uh, G and then the offset 0.5 okay I like that and then what I'm gonna do uh, is extrude them all in inwards afterwards okay so W to get out Let's select this face, hold shift, spin around. Wow, this could have been easier with just one step. I'm missing something clearly in 2015. So let's see if we can pull this off. Extrude off the center. Can this, they all go in? Nope. Can I do it from the inside? Nope. And let's go to offset then. No. Actually, there we go. Yep. So I think a point one would be pretty good here negative point one okay so that's cool I like that I'll leave it at that for now okay so what I'm gonna do is actually uh, I'm gonna take these faces hold shift two three and four and I'm gonna go to mesh and I'm gonna extract these guys so I'm gonna put one texture on this on these faces and I'm gonna unwrap these guys afterwards okay and what I like to do to make my crates look a little different than the average one come to face here I'm gonna press extrude for a second here and maybe come up point one just a touch here just so that it's nailed that way you know what I mean that kinda of looks interesting I'm gonna stop here um, let's go to wireframe and uh, shaded here cool object mode we're good to go okay, I'll continue with texturing this next maybe I'll pause for now somebody at the door here talk to you guys in a bit okay Okay, let's see if I can continue here, guys. Okay, so here's what I want to do. I want to come in here, for example, and I want to select face, uh, boom, hold shift, double click, and shift again. And I want these pieces to be out on its own. Okay, cool. So back to object. So this whole baby here, um, this whole object construct is on its own. So what I'll do is I'll just, uh, uh, let's assign new material for it for, for fun. Lambert and pop in here let's see what we have okay so I just want to just this is just because I don't want a lot of detail on this I think I'll just go in and pick uh, something like this okay really really simple it's, it's like cheating your way out kind of thing Ooh. yeah let's go up let's just take that one piece here okay so that's easy enough six uh, and still out of hand, right? That's okay. So here we go. Let's do the uh, automatic projection. Cool. Edit UV, UV texture. Actually, let's skip that and just come down here. Perspective UV texture editor. I like it all. On. Nice, 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 nice. Ooh, cool. Okay, so that's looking pretty good, actually. Um, okay. I'm just going to leave it for now. I think that's not bad. Yeah, that looks sweet. So what I'll do right now is I'll grab the top piece. I'm just going to go to object mode to get out, right? I'm going to select this one. And we'll do the... Uh, projection again okay cool and we will at this point uh, I should delete the history guys get into the habit of doing this okay delete by type history bye bye and then center pivot see ya and then let's apply a new material uh, Lumbert and then see how clean it is here that's sweet okay let's bring uh, bring bring file come in here uh, yeah should we go with darker nah not right here this is cool we'll take this one okay so, uh, why are we not seeing it? Because 
we haven't selected it, have we? Object mode, bam, and get back. There we go. Okay, cool. Okay, this is huge, huge proportions here. Okay, that looks awesome, but that's not what we want. Okay, so I'm just going to come in here and face uh, R, scale it. Maybe I'll pick, uh, let's say, 4x4 four four here. W. Let's just come in. Look at this. Do you see here, like right now, it's not lit. So look at the, the squares here. So I can just pick four squares roughly, okay? Um, and that'll work for me, okay? So that's looking better. Two, four, six, seven. That's nice. So what I need to do is take these guys and align them accordingly, right? So watch this. If I come in here and select face, for example, let's find where that is. So I want that rotated over here. So W, thank you for that. Uh, let's just hit the rotate tool. Boom. Nice. R. Uh, R. Scale. And bring that down. And check this out, guys. W. I'm just going to zoom in here. Okay. And and I'm just going to line it up in here. So you'll see what's happening. Immediately, this is all going to line up beautifully. Okay. Uh, vertex. Okay. So that means there's other pieces over there. So we're not going to worry about it for now. Face and R it and then just bring it in so that it is somewhat accurate here so that's pretty cool and now if i click out watch whoa is this not the same face what face are you on Balian? check it out Ooh, maybe i need to rotate it eh again uh, let's turn this way perhaps yeah another way to, is to do is to check the edges yeah baby that's what i'm talking about here okay <laughs> All right, slide that in a touch. There we go. That's not bad. Not bad over there. Okay, so that's cool. So what I'll do right now is I'm going to try to find this side piece, and it really doesn't matter right at this point. So I'm just going to come over here, pop it over here on this side. Okay, press R, and I'll bring it on both sides. And W for move, and that's pretty cool. So R some more, scale some more basically. Okay. So you get where I'm going with this. Okay, guys, I don't have to spend an hour on this. You guys can do the rest. Let's just do one more for fun, okay? Let's just do the other side of this, uh, you know, spin around. Because I'm going to do the same thing for this face as well. So check it out. Uh, where is it? So it's over there. And E to rotate. Rotate, rotate. W to move. And... It's way out of proportion, of course. And let's slide it in. Touch more. W. And I can come on the other side here. Now, if things aren't aligned, I can... Uh, let me just zoom in here. Okay, holding Option down. And I'm looking over. And I need to flip this one. E. Bam, 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 bam. Right there. Relatively aligned. Okay, so we're just going to fix this up. R to scale it out a touch. Okay, and then W. Now, the thing is, like, you guys can be more precise with vertices, right? So I just need to come down here to face, right-click the polygon, come down here where it says uh, split UVs, okay? So now these guys here, for example, are independent, okay? So I'm in UV mo uh, vertex mode, so I can just slide in and make it exact amendo, okay? So that's pretty cool. Right-click, face, and then there's ways to sew all this back together. But this is like very introductory. I think we're good to go. And I'll do one more thing here. I keep moving on here. Face, and I'm going to assign new material. Same, uh, I should have had it named down here so I would know which one it is. I'll, I'll do something like that in the next tutorial. Boom, Lambert, file, and let's find it. See where it is. Oop, I think it's this one. Yes, it is. I think so. So let's select on it. Yep. So what I want to do is select this face now, uh, face, and do the same thing four by four. But uh, whoa, oh, you're over there. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll just bring it right over here and do four by four. Um, however, we want it to go in the other direction, right? So let's just zoom in for a sec. Um, hmm. So that's going up, eh? Okay. So why don't I just press E? Bam, bam, done. And then that's going in the right direction. However, the scale is a little off, right? So what did I say before? Four squares, right? So where are my squares? One, one, two, three, four. So and I'm just going to go to vertex. And oops. Is it time? W here. Just, just Let's just do one for fun, OK? It's going to take this one. 
and these two here. Bring it over. Okay, and I'm gonna right click and go to face. And guys, you, there's nothing wrong with putting uh, UVs over each other, okay? That kind of works beautifully as well. Okay, so you can actually do things like that. But nothing is stopping me from uh, putting it somewhere down here and finding four squares quickly. So I'm rush running out of time here, but you get where I'm going with this, okay? So that's the idea, and I'll leave it at that for now. I'm going to come back out, and um, you can see what we've done. Let's render this out and call it a day for now, okay? Oh, all right, so that's pretty quick, fast, and uh, obviously I didn't run in mental ray, so let's take a shot, one shot. Okay, one more minute, guys, the bell's going to go, I know. Okay, this looks pretty cool. I'll leave it at that, and let me just uh, save this up. Bye for now, guys. Bellion out, okay?